The situation is bad, but what is more worrying is that the government is clueless. On the news are tonight on why the government is clueless. Salman Sos of the Congress party is taking on Piyush Goyal of the BJP. Vandana Shiva is founder, research foundation for science, technology and ecology. And she's taking on Rajiv Kumar, senior fellow of the Senior Center for Policy Research. Sanjeev Sanyal, global strategist of the Deutsche Bank, will be joining us in some time. And so will Lord Meghna Desai. The problem right now, Salman Sos, let me begin with you is the utter cluelessness of your government and the growing feeling in your government that you can get away by stating the obvious. You see, Salman Sos, sorting the problems of the economy is not giving a basic lesson in economics. Now, if your government tells uh, people that, you know, uh, we, we could not push the projects, we will have to push the projects, our manufacturing sector is weak, uh, we have to push the manufacturing sector, we have to do something for coal, we have to build a political consensus, we have to rein in the fiscal deficit. It all sounds like the obvious. I mean, your finance minister could say this today, your finance could, minister could have said this 10 years back and 10 years into the future. We are asking you whether you have any solutions in mind or whether your government is going to give us an economics class. Well, Arnab, if you, if you think of what is happening right now, it may seem like the government has, you know, where, where are the results of what the government has been doing? But please, uh, let's go back to 2012 a little bit. At a time when uh, the UPA, UPA was contemplating major economic reforms, one of the main allies of the UPA bolted. At that time, why did they bolt? Because the UPA wanted to put together a diesel hike, an unpopular in some ways diesel hike, a diesel price hike. We had a cap on LPG. We came up with uh, uh, FDI reforms. Now those are the kinds of reforms <coughs> we needed at that time because of fiscal situation and our current account balance at that but time. But why should I have any sympathy for your problems? If you see, you chose to be in government. No, no, one second, one second. You, you're trying to tell me so, that, you know, no, me, I, I, me, Mamta Banerjee uh, left and that's why the situation in the economy is like this. I mean, come on, Salman. So no, no, no. Let's I'm, get, I'm, let's get a real real. No, no, no. Mamta I'm, Banerjee I'm left, so, so, you no, know, no, somebody no, else came you, in. Somebody else came in. Are you saying the entire that's reason? That's not what I'm what's saying. What's it? What's that, that, I'm not saying that. Are you saying the I'm country is in this situation today because Mamta Banerjee left? No, no, no. I'm saying, no, Arnab. I'm saying, I'm suggesting that things could have been far worse if we had not taken some t made some tough choices then now what happens in economics by the way in economies is that when decisions are made they take time you know for the results to, to show up you had nine, nine plus Recently, years you took no has, decisions uh, the time is over and now you're giving us an economics saying, class Arnab? Arnab what are you saying Arnab what are you saying nine plus years I keep hearing about this magical nine plus years yes, I thought the first five years of you uh, of the UPA government we already have an answer from the people of India they spoke and they have yet to speak about the next five years of the UPA government so please don't tell me that this government has not done anything because people of India I think well, are wise enough to know what the government uh, did for I, them I'm, I'm the not saying it I think your finance minister is saying it your finance minister is saying Arnab. that the eighth step for example let's get a rebut let's get a rebut I'll tell you one thing your finance minister Arnab. in parliament sure. yesterday glad that okay, Mr. Piyush, Sons Piyush, go on. has rightfully said that there is a time lag between uh, economic decision making and results. Right. He just said it on your show. This is something I've been saying for many years. The UPA one reaped the benefit of absolutely wonderful government that six years the NDA provided to the nation. We brought fiscal consolidation. We had a current account surplus for three years, brought down interest, brought down inflation. Mm -hmm. Six crore jobs were created. That really was the golden period, as Dr. Arvind Panagriya calls it, of the Indian economy. The UPA 1, which he suddenly talked about, reaped the benefits of that. In UPA 2, the, all the scams, the corruption scams, tumbled out of the closet. The finance minister finally has acknowledged that starting 2008, the UPA lost direction. They completely lost fiscal prudence. They brought in money. They, uh, they took fiscal deficit to 6.5%, threw FRBM out of the window, and used that money instead of investment into infrastructure and capital expenditure like China did. 
they threw it away in no, you absolute see, you see the problem is you see and wasteful expenditure no, but, without creating assets that is the root cause of the problem no, the, today they have lost direction they have no leadership a I, non functional get, prime minister and nsc which is in control but has no responsibility to the people of india well they owe a responsibility a where interest rates have skyrocketed they owe a responsibility inflation has skyrocketed and the middle class common man poor rich you, all alike are suffering. you want so, 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 mr sos please let's, let's get everyone in because I, i know i see your hand go up there and i must warn you mr okay. sos that you are going to be a solitary voice among a lot of people you i don't know how much support you'll get even from vandana shiva tonight i don't mind that i no, don't mind i don't that. mind that either I but but you, i'm sure you're capable of defending yourself but it is my duty mr sos to remind I you and all our viewers today that what mr chidambaram said yesterday august 2013 is also what mr chidambaram said in may 2004 exactly you see Yeah, no, my, I have a problem with that. In yesterday, Chidambaram said, "Now quote this, Meghnath Desai. Let me get you in. You seem to be amused by that, but I'll prove myself that there was Chidambaram 2004, Chidambaram 2014 is an exact replica of each other on manufacturing. Chidambaram 2004, Chidambaram 2004. There is great scope for consolidating the growth momentum with special emphasis on agriculture, manufacturing sector, etc. These sectors require massive investment. Chidambaram 2013." the eighth step that we have to take to take is to encourage manufacturing many of us many of you were absolutely right that we have allowed manufacturing to languish for a variety of reasons how can any country become a strong economy without a strong industrial sector i mean the nine and a half years went in between nine and a half years later you repeat what you said in 2004 you expect us not to ask you the questions i mean why do we waited 9 plus years lord make that they say for this acknowledgement that we have a problem with the manufacturing sector but you know people have been saying to this government and previous governments that we need a reform of the labor laws <coughs> bangladesh has large manufacturing factories textile factories malaysia does indonesia does india is the only country which 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 has a uh, medium and high tech manufacturing but no low tech manufacturing we do not use our unskilled labor we don't employ them in factories they rot in the countryside because we our labor laws protect the few people in the organized urban sector you know that was socialism and we still haven't abandoned that so you know most of the informal sector has no security no guarantee all because the tiny bit of organized sector must be protected now unless we reform the labor laws will there be no growth of manufacturing period no but then but, well we haven't government have government so who do you blame? Realize. you blame you blame the government you blame the government you blame the bjp who yes. do you blame megna this i was do i have to blame huh? i can't blame myself i blame the government and the general thinking in india that you know it, the formal sector has to be protected by elaborate laws 4 to 5% of total labor force and the informal sector can go to hell okay by the way and therefore we do not have a proper manufacturing sector well, well, I, a good, good point oh by the way i missed out 2008 the government's problems no i i missed out 2008 in 2004 chidambaram said we have to look at manufacturing <laughs> in 2008 also he said our goal is to take manufacturing to double digit Now 2014, 2013, he's saying, once again, we allowed manufacturing to. We have to now encourage manufacturing. I mean, what stopped you? You were in government. The people of India were not in government. NSC. That's why I'm saying an economics NSC class is not what the people allowed. of this country want. Rajiv Kumar, what do you think? There's an they economic emergency pass, ahead. They, do you think the government did, shows the capacity did, to they, take no, us forward? They did. You see, the problem is that they did formulate a new manufacturing policy. <coughs> However, having having formulated it, all that had to be done to implement it, which is, for example, to remove the 70 clearances that are required for every entrepreneur to stay in business, or to have the hundred odd inspectors descending on the small and medium enterprises, etc. Nothing of that sort was done. Because the problem is that this government seems to believe. that they can legislate their way to economic growth the, for, the and, and the problem however is in the implementation and taking some steps to re, and and this is this is now come home to roost because what's happened today or now is 
this is a crisis of confidence yeah it's not a crisis of growth you know it's not a crisis of you know sort of economic mismanagement it's just simply that investing community whether it's domestic or foreign has now refused to believe that the government is is honest about anything that it is saying so the, the unfortunately the finance minister puts out a 10 point program yesterday yeah. and the market's take a tumble today i mean rather than get rather than what get, does that you tell know, you the, the, what does that tell you about it. that people have lost yeah. confidence but, but, but that what that tells you know, that absolutely right and i have been i have been saying for for some time now that what you need is to is to close the gulf between what you say and what you do you have to now actually walk the talk and the walking the talk i'll give you two examples it, it, that is what it requires to be done if there is a coal problem in the country and 20000 megawatts are now up there and not generating power you have to you have to declare that you will privatize coal india limited who has whose output has been stagnating yeah, yeah. at 600 odd million tons for the last yeah, three yeah. years yes now what you have to do therefore you have to you have to tell you have to tell the people that we will abolish the apmc act which which allows cartelization by the traders in the major mandis of azadpur and mumbai and which therefore control the prices of all the perishables and we have been saying this for 3 years now it's not and 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 the fact is that this is not a crisis which has defended you know descended on us yesterday it's been a crisis in the making in 2008 the fiscal profligacy you know that's where it started but first and foremost you have to admit that there is a crisis of you have to say to the people of this country mia kalpa unless you say that no 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 they don't think so the they don't the they don't think so they the don't confidence. think so you are saying the government should say mia kulpa i don't think so vandana shiva you think the government is going to say mia kulpa the government's only saying one thing which i am hearing we are doing okay we are doing everything right we only need to improve communication a bit which means our policy is right our directions in right we are we are we are moving in the right way we just need to communicate a little bit more better and that's the only problem so vandana shiva how do you look upon the present situation and who do you blame well every every dimension of the crisis we are facing today and i do think it is an economic emergency is a result of the so called economic reforms implemented blindly starting 91 if we hadn't locked in our economy so intimately to dependency on in an international economy look at the trade deficit <coughs> with china has jumped from a billion in 2001 to 175 billion in 2012 no matter what your labor laws make not decide and no matter what your domestic trading laws with that kind of an import dependence you're going to knock out your agriculture you're going to knock out your farmers that is why since these economic reform policies he, he 15 disagrees. million I, farmers have been wiped out from agriculture they are not languishing in the rural areas make not they say they are keeping the society and economy afloat they are our annadatas well, and the apmc act that rajiv desai is, a, is attacking is our only safeguard against the walmarts who we know worldwide drop the producer share to 2% once they start to oops L losing the line there would... I, i would i would genuinely tell like what, to know what she she's got the let her complete we are getting a link we are getting a line back go ahead vandana shiva so we no, lost the, you in between the main thing is why how did we weather the storm how did we weather the storm of 2008 collapsed when all of the u collapsed because we had not coupled the oops oops well 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 i think i think we are just losing the video line with you i i i can't hear what is being said what said we lost the video line there with with vandana shiva i can i can I, i can i can understand and i can anticipate I mean, what vandana shiva is going to say i i i don't agree with her but i know she has a consistent line on this Uh. Yeah, so that's what she's saying. But you know, I thought I the problem. She doesn't like you know, all the problem. No, no. One, one. Second. I let's get Sanjeev Sanya to open this up to open debate India in a minute. Uh, Rajiv, Raj, Raj, Rajiv Kumar, Rajiv Kumar. I'll just, so I'll just, I'll just, I'll open this up to debate in a minute. I'll open this up to debate in a minute. After I, my, 2008 is actually incredible. No, I, I open know? this up to debate and in a minute. Now, Sanjeev. 
Now, Sanjeev, uh, Mr. Rajiv Kumar, let's, say, let's yes. get Sanjeev from Singapore, then I'll open this up and get you back onto the debate. So, Sanjeev, we have a very self-assured Congress spokesperson, sure. Salman Sos, on the program this evening. And, and he, he refuses to admit that it is either profligacy or bad governance which has led us to this situation. The only thing he admitted was the problem of political stability, which he blamed largely to Mamta Banerjee, uh, you know, walking out over FDI last right. year. You're, you're speaking for me. I did not say those words. You're speaking for me. I did not say well, those I, words. I interpreted I can, you that I way. I rebut later, but I'm let him speak. Hoping to get her back yeah, that was wrong I, I interpreted you that way. Well, in any case, let's get a perspective from I, Singapore. I, Okay. Sa Sanjeev, you but handle sure. global markets. The fact is, you handle global markets. The fact of the matter, yeah. Where is the government going wrong, in your view? I think we have had uh, now many years of being promised a series of reforms that we have frankly been waiting for quite some time. And so, um, there is a, frankly, there is a credibility problem that needs to be resolved with serious supply side measures. But I think there is an even uh, more near term problem with. At, at, as things are standing, we really run the risk that you'll end up with a vicious cycle where the exchange rate keeps falling, you get inflation, inflation causes exchange rate also to, uh, to fall further, and really much uh, more urgently than getting on with the supply side things, we need to get on with stabilizing the economy right now, which requires a serious monetary contraction, but also very serious fiscal contraction and that is this is needed very quickly. Now, I'm not going to get into a debate about you know, long-term reforms right now. Right now, what you need is serious fiscal consolidation. Instead, what we have so far been hearing is, in fact, even more uh, spending plans. So surely, you know, uh, have foreign or domestic investors are going to be somewhat concerned about this. No, so, so let's put it very simply. Fa food subsidy bill was a terrible idea, wasn't it? Uh, Sanjeev, what is the message that it's given you when you handle global markets from a global perspective? What is the message it gives you? And then I'll take a response from Salman Sos. See, many of these plans, uh, these uh, food subsidy type plans have been tried for decades now and clearly they haven't removed hunger. So we need to relook at the whole strategy. If they haven't uh, removed hunger for over the last several decades, we are not going to remove it using this strategy going forward. Surely we need a new strategy, uh, especially since the PDS system and other but things are not being fundamentally changed. So the mechanism you're going to use for this uh, pumping through this subsidy is pretty much the same old system. Yeah, so Salman, so as we come back to you at this point. I have a very interesting study here. You want to signal? No, no, watch it, watch it. Let, 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 let me get an open no, round. I just want to open this up. One sec, Jyoti, and then Piyush, Piyush and Meghna Desai and Rajiv, you can all come in. So my question, because we have one representative yeah, from yeah, the Congress me, today. No, you see, point is, Salman says, all I want you to one. do, all I want you to do, if you would like to, is admit mea culpa, that we did it all wrong. That's all. Then we get into the business of how yeah, we... No, no, then, then we get... No, 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 no. But the problem is that you two are being completely obdurate tonight. You see, your finance minister says Ooh. the fourth most important step we must agree is to revive the investment cycle. We must unlock the stalled pro pro projects. How long have these projects been pending, Salman Sos? <coughs> the fact that you cleared so many projects so Look. soon is only, is only proof of the fact that all it was required was a sustained push. Why was it not done earlier? Well, why, well, why am I paying I the price no, because no, you no, didn't no, do anything no, for I nine have years? To, I have to... I have to... No, 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 yeah. I mean, nine years, I, I told you and I repeat that the people of India spoke, uh, you know, for the first five years. So please don't speak for everybody, okay? But the people of India spoke. Let's no. give it a break. Now, let me respond to... Listen, let me please give no. me an opportunity to respond. Because no, no, but you... you don't know, one, one, sec, one, sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. I must correct you. No, you said don't speak don't, for anyone. The understand. people of... You, you know, this argument of yours that we won the election so we were right is not I necessarily think. right. So I think that obduracy... No, 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 that, no, 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 no,
No, you please go ahead. No, but uh, you know what? I haven't even I haven't even said anything. So let me say. Okay, let him complete his point. Then Piyush Goyal will rebut. We benefit. We benefit. We benefit. We benefited from uh, 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 NDA's times, and you know, UPA one was a success built on that. By the same logic, NDA's uh, success was built on Mr. Devi Gowda's work and Mr. Gujral's work. I mean, what kind of logic is that? Then you keep talking yeah, about corruption. I keep hearing. Growth. I keep talking about corruption, corruption all the time. You us. should. You should please. You, you, well, there you go. This is a very. This is not a joke, Mr. Piyush Goyal. I'm being very serious about this. Now you also you talk about joking, corruption. My friend. Look you at transparency, international growth. Trans, transparent to eight percent. Mr. Goyal, you, transparency. You got eight percent. You got it back. Let me give you some. To four percent. Let me give you. Let me give. Uh, let me give you some statistics, Mr. Goyal. With data. Please do. On corruption, which is your favorite topic these days. Transparency International. During NDA times, public sector uh, corruption. Right? We were in the bottom 25% of the countries worldwide. Right now, we're somewhere in the middle. Okay? So please check your facts out there. Now, on the 2008 part. No, what no, one second, one second, one, one second, one second, one second, one second, one, one minute, I don't let these things go, no, are you saying one minute, one minute, I don't know, one, oh, I don't know what Transparency International says, NDA but is the of Congress, the magnitude of 2G, Commonwealth, is, yeah. is, is, is the, the, I'm not, I'm no, not is the Congress, no, no, is the Congress, no, no, I, 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 let me ask you, is the Congress representative, Mr. Gosos, you are the Congress representative, is the Congress representative on the program tonight expecting the viewers of News are to believe? that after the biggest string of scams that any government in independent India has seen, I'm not that you are giving that. yourself uh, please, a certificate listen, based, upon some, give... based upon some transparency no, 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 international statistics. No, 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 is that the no, fig leaf no, no, no. that you are now going to hold no. on to? I am just... No, no, no. You no, are no, the no. transparency no, international fig leaf now on corruption. Can you, can you please... No, no, no. Arnab, if you will allow me, please. Mr. Piyush Goel wants us to believe that corruption exists now. It never existed before. Corruption has existed. People at home no, know why it. Do, why it still exists. It? People know it. Of this okay. I, I, I accept it. That okay. You I accept it. The nation. Mr. S Mr. Soz, I am asking you once again. Mr. Mr. Goyal, let us. Mr. Soz, I am asking yes, you please, once again. I am asking you once again. And 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 you know I. There are a lot of there are a lot of people. I want to talk about fiscal profligacy. One minute. I want to talk about fiscal profligacy. Yeah, yeah. Profligacy. Fiscal, fiscal profligacy has been going on since your farm that. loan waiver, and and the finance minister says that all these yeah, measures so, only happened between 2009 and so, 2011. So let me. Who was the finance minister in 2008? I want to. I want to tell you. Who was the finance you, minister uh, in 2008? Uh, uh, that if you look, why is it why is it that you people refuse absolutely refuse to accept? that in 2008 and 2009, while the world was suffering, we were still doing okay. And we had to take steps at that time to make sure that we would remain okay. Now, you call it fiscal profligacy, we call it stewardship. We had to do something at that time, otherwise the situation would have turned grave. Okay, now, has, has that impacted us? Absolutely. No, you, what I'm asking us. you is, Our no, please don't set the terms of the debate like that. I'm only picking up from Chidambaram's Ten Commandments. Now, Chidambaram says... I'm only picking up from the debate. No, no, I, one second. Mr. Mr. Sos, please listen. Now, now here's a question. It's but very basic for us. Now, I need to come in here. Can I just come in here, please? Uh, Mr. Rajiv, no, Rajiv, no, Rajiv Kumar. Come come in in just to correct, Mr. Uh, to, Mr. to correct Mr. Sos, Go ahead. in February of 2008, six months before the Lehman crisis, the finance minister increased the public expenditure by 3.5% of the GDP. He had the farm loan waiver, he had the six pay commission, he had the Mendrega expansion and the, and the joke going around is that we in India are so smart and we, that and we, we anticipated the Lehman crisis. Mm -hmm. we, we reflated, we reflated yes, the yes. economy beyond doubt, beyond any, any, anybody's imagination. We told the FRBM to go to hell and at that same time the RBI was raising interest rates in July 2012. It is, it is totally fortuitous that the Lehman crisis came when it did and because we had deflated, therefore we got 6.9%. But that is the price that you are paying today. Did we, did we only get 6.9%? After the minister who is a conscience keeper of the country, that, that, is it. that was the year that you got 2008-9, it was 6.9%. <coughs> but the fact is that once and the conscience keeper go? of the government where of the country... No. Let's 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 let 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 you know. No, no, let's let's everything. let's let's it let's is, get one thing. Open, let's get one thing very clear. For no, no, this, the, let's get one thing very clear. Yesterday, Chidambaram admitted there were domestic problems. That was that was good because Salman says. And uh, Sanjeev, I'm just coming to you. You see, the problem has been so far. You blame global factors and you blame everything else, including the weather and uh, no, everything no, no, possible. No, no, that. one second. You I'm want to blame? No, one second. One, one second. One second. Please understand. Now, no, Chidambaram says ten step. Ten step. 
10th step, Chidambaram says, we have to find a way, and I appeal to all of you to uh -huh. find a way to resolve the impasse in coal sector, iron sector, environment clearances, and land acquisition, which has come about due to judicial intervention. Now, Mr. Sos, is that completely correct? The impasse in the coal sector is entirely the government of India's doing. Because more than 80% production has not started from our mind due to the government's poor monitoring of the companies that were allotted coal blocks. The impasse in the environmental clearances is even more unpardonable for the government because the environment ministry has been with the Congress party. Land acquisition is a failure to build political consensus to get a bill passed in parliament. Iron ore ban was a result of unchecked corruption. Corruption with political patronage. The judiciary me, has been forced to intervene me, as a result, what? as a result of the executive created botch up, malgovernance and vacuum. You don't want to admit that. And even on news are tonight, Mr. Sos, you are unwilling to admit I that wanna, you've done anything I wrong. I want to tell you. No, no, I did not say that, Arunab. You are saying that. I'm saying, I'm saying that, look, policy mistakes can happen in any government and it, they have happened in our government as well, I'm sure. But what I'm trying to suggest is, the real discussion Excel should be about starts. what do we do from here? So, did now, I say, well, if, if one of the gentlemen, I, I believe, in six he's from months you'll be general election he, he mode and you're asking the people of this country what you will do from here? What have you been doing for nine and a half years? Resign. That's the Mr. Goel, you Mr. keep going back to nine and a half years, and I keep telling you, I keep telling you that compare, look, growth during UPA, uh, UPS time, 8.3%, your time's growth, 6%. So okay? Please what? check your numbers. R you talk about rural infrastructure. Okay, rural okay, roads? we're getting a rematch from Satish. No, no, we're getting. See, no. see we are asking. Can I just take a your minute? Piyush is responding to Sal 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 Salman. I, I want to talk about solutions, Mr. Goel. Do you want to talk about solutions? Salman, so do you want to talk about responding to you? Yeah, we'll come to that, Mr. Mr. Goel. Goes, I'm but you must understand that the UPA government has single-handedly demolished. Every institution in this country, oh, really? you have institutionalized poverty, really? you have institutionalized Im, uh, instability and insecurity. Every uh -huh, time uh -huh. the Congress has come into I power, see. and I have statistics from 1947 onwards, if your camera Arnab can pan it, mm -hmm. every time the Congress has come into power, inflation has been high, interest rates shoot up, the dollar increases in value and rupee depreciates, Every time they come into power, there are job losses. Every time they come into Every, power, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. series of scandals and corruption. Every time they come into power, they make tall claims of reaching out to the poor. But in reality, they just do consumption expenditure, but infrastructure suffers. At one time, India was spending 30% of its budget on capital expenditure. When the NDA came into power, we inherited only 22% of budget and capex we increased it to 23 percent now in the last nine years the out of the budget only 11 percent is spent on capex they don't believe in developing infrastructure they don't believe in creating jobs in the name of yeah, we, food don't, security, no, we don't we don't we don't believe yeah let me pull up the people I? of india the food security bill that you supported, Mr. Goyal. And calling it food the security. food security bill that you Stop supported. Making politics out of everything it's not happening I don't, I don't know. Ardab, you got to ask Mr. Goyal. Ardab, you should ask him. Maybe he won't listen to me. On, I, if I could just make two points. One on infrastructure because you raised the issue, is, uh, this issue. PMGSY, which is a flagship uh, scheme of the government, and Mr. Vajpayee initiated it. In 2004, expenditure was on PMGSY, 9,000 crores. Check the latest numbers, 56,000 crores. Just Sir, can one I ask you? Can I just ask you? Can I just ask you? No, no, one second. Can I just ask you one question? question. No, Sal, 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 Salman Sos. Salman Sos. Salman Sos. You have brought it down from 23% to 23%. Salman Sos. Sal, 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 that is your contribution. Please understand why I'm asking the question and I'm going to open the phone. Don't give an absolute number. The economy has grown. No, 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 Piyush. Obviously, with inflation at double digit. Piyush Goel, one minute. Piyush Goel and Salman Sos ceasefire between both of you for just a minute. Please ask him this question. May I interject here? No, no, one sec, one sec. Mr. Rajiv Kumar, one issue. minute. Sa Sa Salman Sos. Issue. I'm going to Sanjeev here. I want you I'm to looking. consider there the situation tonight. Salman Sos, just take a deep yes. breath and consider there is somebody watching the news Adasi. Now, that somebody is insecure about their job. Okay, that somebody is tax paying, okay. is middle class, has worked hard. His or her parents have worked hard, built the basis of the economy. 
okay, that somebody is going to pay higher EMIs, they pay 240% more for vegetables and milk, right? Their rate of increase in power and fuel is 11% per month. And that somebody is asking you that that somebody hears the finance minister say the following. The finance minister says what we need now is not less reforms but more reforms. What we need now is not more restrictions but less restrictions. What we need now is not a closed economy but an open economy. I mean who can usher in reforms? It's the government. Who can open up the economy? It's the government. For two years now the government has been in policy paralysis. Four and a half years you've had to push through reforms. You don't want to talk about nine years. Now you are giving us, you are stating the obvious which is the need for reforms. Now how does that sound to someone like Sanjeev Sanyal sitting in Singapore? That the finance minister of India with six months effectively before the government becomes lame duck saying we need to do more reforms. How does that sound to you Sanjeev? Can you put a dose of reality into My this frank debate? Frankly, f frankly, right now the situation is that the long-term reforms probably have to wait, sadly, because the th situation is winding into a, uh, where we need to stabilize the economy very, very quickly. Yes, we need to get the investment cycle going and all those other good stuff. But frankly, I would love to find out from the Congress spokesperson, is he willing to even carry out the basic act of carrying out a major fiscal consolidation right now right to now. stop the rupee from spiraling out? What would that mean to in real terms, Sanjeev? Give me one example. What would that mean to in real terms? No. Act how, how? It would mean in real terms that at least for now, yes. you're willing to increase the interest rates. You're willing to slow down the economy, in our, which will be painful given that the economy is slowing down anyway. And are you willing to at least stabilize this? Because, you know, frankly, you can do all the long-term stuff when you have the time. Right now, we don't have the time because this is really spiraling in, out into a vicious cycle. There's no point in knowing about transparency, international and all that sort of things right now. Oh, we don't have the time. Arnab, the transparency, international data also he has given is wrong, Mr. Source. In 2002, no, India was 71. In 2012, it, we are 90, 94. So we have deteriorated in the last 10 no, years, no, Mr. Look at the number Sauce. of countries. Kindly look check at the your data. Of countries, I've just checked Mr. Goyal, it Look at the number minutes. of countries. Look at, look at the number of countries in the list, Mr. Goyal, from 2002 and 2012. You'll see that now in 2012, we have 176 I mean, countries in the Mr. Sauce, this is not the time to debate. Mr. Sauce, one Somebody minute. Mr. 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 Sauce. Mr. Sos, Mr. Sanjeev saying something, well, you want it? Sanjeev, one second, Mr. Mr. Sos, let's, let's get Mr. Sos down to basics. Out of that. Let's get it's Mr. Sos down to basics. Sanjeev, you were saying something. Thank Go ahead. Arnab. Sanjeev, you were saying yes, something. Yes, I'm basically saying that, look, we need all these long-term reforms. We should have been doing them over the last nine years. That would have been great if we had done it, but we haven't done it for what, whatever reason. And in the long run, we also need to keep doing these supply-side measures. But I'm keeping on emphasizing the the real issue right now is to carry out a stabilization which is requires higher interest rates but most importantly tighter fiscal policy i.e actually slashing back on all those subsidies and in spending in general ah. uh, that has to be done now precisely uh, that's the point the challenge uh, no, is put up there vandana shiva what do you think about that one second well, meghnath desai meghnath desai puts his hand up to what sanjeev is saying go ahead meghnath desai then i'll come to vandana shiva meghnath desai yeah I think, I think Sanjeev is quite right. Forget about corruption and all that. Nobody is good in that respect. Chidambaran should come to Parliament and announce a new spending plan which will reassure the markets that the deficit that he is going to come out with finally is not above what he budgeted for and hopefully lower as say 4%. He should announce drastic spending cuts. The government wastes a lot of and money. What happens to the food which, security which it bill? Need to, which doesn't go what to What happens the poor, to the food security bill? No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, I mean, the food security will let it stay. I mean, I think it's, no. it's you know, no, nobody why let knows it stay? how why, much why let it spending stay? and so on. But, but, no, but, no, but there are perfectly other, there are perfectly other spending items which the government can cut. Come on. You know, it's not possible. You know, I, I live in a but country you know, where, where the government not, has, has, has undertaken not, to eliminate the deficit. No, no, listen to me. Listen to me. In, in UK, the government undertook to eliminate the deficit in one, uh, in one term. Okay? It's hard work, but it has to be done. 
but why are you keeping the food security bill why is why are you keeping the food security bill out of it you see the problem is that lord meghnad desai that even eminent economists like you are beginning to take the food security bill food security bill as a given this is the greatest no why why no, no, we no, don't have no, money for such a scheme we have Arnab, no money for such Arnab a scheme Goswami. yes megna this i have go swami yes megna i have go swami i was the only person on your program last week yes. who is opposed to food security in principle yeah so i'm asking Not that question so is principle. it politically I, incorrect I, okay, to ask that okay. question i'm asking I, what, no, no why no, is it why is it no, today? no, no, no why, why is it politically saying, incorrect lord meghnath desai with greatest of respect to you and you know why is it today if i am asking today I'm i am saying, i am yeah, yeah i'm i'm answering you if you don't don't ask starting again and again i'll tell you what it is I am not mentioning food security because everybody else mentions food security. I think there are lots of other things government can cut. Okay, over and above food security, if you want. But you know, food security, food security, everybody says that is fifty thousand crores. That is not going to patch up the, the deficit. It's okay? not fifty thousand so crores, first of all. It's not fifty thousand crores. Bill. Much, much more than food security. Bill. You got to get serious in life. Come on. Yes, Vandana Shiva. Vandana Shiva is back with us and she's on the debate. Arnam, Arnam, let them burn and do it. Arnam, let them burn and do it. Yeah, I, I can give you a money. set of the places where the government can cut down public expenditure while increasing food security. We should get rid of the chemical fertilizer subsidies. That's about a hundred thousand crores, yeah. and it's going to yeah, increase yeah. with the import dependence yeah, yeah. and the collapsing of the rupee against yeah. the dollar. Cut off the subsidies yeah, yeah. you're giving to yeah, the yeah. seed corporation. Seventy-five percent. of the money of the pradhan mantri krishi yojana is going to subsidize these patented seed non renewable seed hybrid seed gmo seeds the yes. government should allow yes. the farmers of this country to be the backbone of food security as lal bahadur shastri said grow more food that's the way to food security and we can do it at zero cost while ensuring A, a resolution of this financial now, crisis. I, I like this. I like the conversation because the nature of the conversation now is yeah. this, and I'm going to open up. My question tonight on the news are is this? No, Salman so is considered. Arnab, this. you see what? What? It is all right. <coughs> Arman, can I just come in, please? It is. You, you, Rajiv Kumar, just one point. Just, I just yeah, want Arman, to tell Salman so that just, Salman so it is all right. It is one to thing to tell the middle class of this country to brace themselves <coughs> for rough weather ahead. It is another thing to take the kind of recipe that Meghna Desai and. Uh, And Vandana Shiva are giving you tonight. Okay. There is scope to cut money and to raise But money. Can I, can I just Instead come of in passing here? the buck on to the middle I, class I, I of this country. Yes, Rajiv Kumar. I want to come to that. But yeah, you know, but the but the recipe that Sanjeev has been say, to, you know recommending, it's this classic recipe for stabilizing and contracting the demand and then bring down the growth further in the economy. I am afraid that will spook the market even further at this point of time. you know this is this is this is traditional recipe which i'm afraid will not work in a declining in a downswing of the economy because what you really going to do is to bring the growth down to zero almost or to 2% because it's going to be about sub 5% now in any case so if you raise cut interest rates even growth. more investment will decline i'm afraid let me just but the, but the point let me respond is to that. The, the, rajiv the, kumar sanjeev is rebutting you just more listen more. to me instead just sanjeev just, is rebutting you mr kumar second, sanjeev instead of doing that if you no no instead of the, what this i know what the sanji would say but the fact is that you have to bring the confidence back into the market into the investment class those recipes will not work at this moment what vandana shiva is saying would work you have to do that to a certain extent but more than that you have to announce the beginning of some structural reforms i mean the market will understand that you are serious and that you are walking the talk you don't necessarily have to squeeze all growth impetus out of the out of the economy today because then it'll take you very long Ra rajiv you kumar get it back and the Ra Ra cost of that would be very high no no Ra rajiv kumar can the government be banking on fdi to save us from the india growth story on the decline you know posco has no. exited india Le nokia no. nokia is Let expressing frustration at doing but business but in, but in but india but we but are all no 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 we are we domestic investors Let back. me respond to this no i, I domestic investors are no the you're talking about me. investors i speak to investors in india and abroad all the time the fact is there is a credibility problem now announcing things is it's now too late and i agree with all the measures that were mentioned by vandana shiva and log medna desai and there are, i can give you a, a equally long list of things that need to be done i think they're widely known the point is when you have a credibility problem 
you have to do other things to buy time so that you can actually implement things and show that you are going to walk the talk. Now, showing that you can walk the talk takes time by definition. So we do not have six months or a year in which to slowly sequence out these uh, measures. Even in 1991, incidentally, we had to stabilize the economy while we were opening it up. And during that period, incidentally, it was very painful. I know it's going to be painful. I lived through that and I, I know uh, this will be painful too. But those who uh, are unhappy about the fact that growth is going to slow, joblessness will grow, etc., should have thought about that beforehand. Now that you are in a crisis, we unfortunately have to carry out this painful exercise. Well, and uh, we may get lucky uh, what, because the what, world see, markets or liquidity see, comes back. But what, the fact what, is, no, no, watch it, watch it. No, I'm, I'm going across. Uh, no, I'm going I'm across to Piyush Goyal. No, no. At the core of this, at the core of this, is a political problem. At the core of this is a political problem. Sanjeev is spot on when he says there's a credibility crisis. Now, now my question, simple question, which I have for the BJP, for example. Why don't you work together? Did the BJP and the Congress get together to pass the GST? Can you work together? Yes. No, or is the BJP, no, no, or is the BJP, uh, yeah. or is the BJP going to constantly be obstructionist over the course of the ne next eight, nine months? To, I think, Arnav, you are missing to, the, to help the To point. help the government move faster all down the, the suicide path. Yeah, all the uh, time I have been saying on your channel, on the floor of the house, that there are a hundred things that need to be done. Almost 95 of them, there's consensus across the political spectrum, including the left. Instead of focusing on those 95 things, Unfortunately, this government chooses to do the one or two most contentious things, divert the focus of the country and the nation into those contentious issues. For example, FDI and multi-brand retail, which never got them one dollar. And instead of focusing on fixing the coal problem, the power problem, the corruption problem, I mean, I said two years ago on the floor of parliament that we could have raised hundred billion dollars just by auctioning the coal mines. I've said on so many occasions, there are hundred things to be done by the government, but it doesn't require parliament. Why don't they fix that? Why are they in a confrontational mode when they deal with the opposition? Why do they say you accept this as it is or go away? Yes. I think it's high time the government comes to us with sincere hands, with a clean hand, talks to the opposition. We are ready to cooperate. No, you see, this is, I've heard this so many times before and I'm... Yeah, but they don't follow it. You have heard it, but have you been able to get the is government the to follow a coalition? Well, well, I think Meghna Desai is asking you a slight... Meghna Desai wants to ask you a slightly... Sure. I am asking, well, is the BJP against FDI and liberal market reform? If the BJP is against liberal market That's reform... That's not this FDI, I have said it so many times to you. Let us it hear it clearly. It is the BJP clearly. which brought true reform in FDI. We believe FDI so has why to have a human face. FDI why has did to be practical FDI? so that why it actually results in greater jobs. We have why never you opposed FDI. FDI. You have, you have <coughs> not, you we have opposed Congress? FDI in why multi you brand Congress? We are clearly opposed to that why? because it will lead to huge I'm jobs. Sincerely, I'm sincerely, I'm Indian sincerely. Indian manufacturing you know the is problem not is, ready the, for the, the problem is Piyush Goyal. The Walmart, you know, the, 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 the greatest no, problem is Mr. Goyal. One check, one check, one check. I want to watch it. You see Piyush Goyal. Piyush Goyal one minute. Which is zero today. Piyush Goyal. Piyush Goyal. Piyush Goyal, it's very frustrating for a, it's very, it'll be very frustrating today. For a young man who's perhaps going to be on the verge of losing his job watching this debate tonight. You know, he's going to say, what am I getting out of it? You see, the Mr. Piyush Goel, and don't, please don't interrupt me, I'm just, let me complete this comment. He, they're going to say, there is, goes Mr. Piyush Goel, he's pointing out to everything that is wrong with the government. And there goes Mr. Chidambaram and the Congress, we, who, are, who are telling us that uh, we have a 10-point for, formula to save the Indian economy. What, what were the solutions? Control fiscal deficit, current account deficit, provide an impetus to my manufacturing. These rules should be part, for Salman, source of the standard operating procedure. I, that a, 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 the standard operating Salman, procedure Salman, a government should adhere to, so the economy does not tank. I, and not retrospectively when the I, economy I, is in trouble. No, no, so, no, no, what am I saying? No, I, I never criticize without a concrete solution. No, no, I'm, cri I'm, I'm criticizing both of you today. To tell the it world. Arnab, I, I'll give you the solutions, Arnab. Not the the government, first that of all, as Sanyal speak. said, needs to sort out its credibility gap. They need to tell the world we'll respect judicial judgments. We will not do retrospective amendments. Trust India. 
and I've said it on your on many channels that the NDA and the BJP do not believe in retrospective amendments at all. Mr. Modi has said it in his interview. Retrospective amendment cost this country probably hundreds of billions of dollars of investment. Second, they need to tell Under, the Arnab, world. This is an we will need to believe point. in transparency. We will not point. indulge in Arnab, corruption. Can I say something? A, a I mean, license given by the government has value. Trust it. Third, they need to set the power sector. Arnab, you got to get me. Shape. Well, if they, they need to increase coal production. Well, then why don't you just sort out the price why don't, why, of power? Why plants. don't why don't why don't all of you please understand? Why don't all of you work together to ensure that the middle class of this country does not Arnab, get short Arnab, can I get a word in? No, no, you are not. You know, you are not. You see, you are, you are not. Arnab, 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 no, no, Piyush Goyal. Give them the solution. Piyush Goyal, all I, all I get, all I get is a food subsidy Arnab, bill. I'm sorry. What did I get at the end of the parliament session? The government, the, the economy of this country is tanking. The dollar is going going higher and higher every day. What did I get in this parliament session, Piyush Goel? The reality. Arnab, I, the reality is Salman, so 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. What did I get? I get 10 seconds. No, no. What's a Piyush Goel? One minute. You didn't even get food. Piyush Goel. Piyush Goel. You only got old wine in a new bottle. Piyush Goel. All I got. All I got. Salman Soz. Salman Soz. All I got. I'm was all I got was a food security you, bill. You all I got was a food security bill, Salman Soz. I got a food security bill which is going to add 1.3. But this gentleman does not let me speak. No, no, I'm telling Mr. you what. Does not let me Salman speak. Soz, let listen also. Speak. Listen, all you gave me is a food subsidy I'm, I'm bill which will make Congress Congress Party very happy, but which is going to add 1.3 lakh crores to my exchequer, which is going to add to my fiscal account uh, no, de deficit not. woes, which is going to no, lead to lack not. of credibility outside. You are wrong. We become more suspect Arnab, in the international wrong, community. Sorry, please. And you are not owning up. Arnab, between you and Mr. Arnab, between you and Mr. Goyal, you've already taken about 15-20 minutes. Other people should be able to... Well, I think you had your say, but go ahead. Please defend pay, yourself. Uh, by all means. No, no, I've been, I've been listening. Now, Mr. 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 Goyal uh, would have you believe that they will do everything better than the, the next party. In fact, they, are, they, they, are for, they were for FDI before they were against it. Now, they, they, uh, they, are, they supported the uh, food security bill, but they somehow don't really like it. You know, so this kind of hypocrisy is not what India needs right now. What we need is a cool, calm discussion on the kinds of issues that Mr. Sanyal has raised, for example, or Vandana ji has uh, kind of come up with. These are things to be debated. These yeah. are important so, issues. Should we go, you know, they are competing priorities. On the one hand, you have a falling rupee. On the why, other hand, you have... Why are you wasting my money when I'm, lo when I'm losing my job? Okay, and a man, no, but a man exactly facing unemployment saying, asks you. What I'm, no, a no, man facing unemployment asks you, Salman no, no, Soz. I'm, I'm, Salman Soz, a man facing I'm unemployment I'm is just, asking I'm you. I'm just telling you. As, is no, asking you, why are you no, wasting my money yeah, I know. when I'm losing my job? Why are you, why, you know, 40 to 50 we, percent we, of this money will go into pilferage, will go into rotting of food grains because you don't have logistics. 40 to 50 okay, okay. percent of the food I, will I, be wasted. I would like to respond why, to why that. Are you, why, I would like to why don't to you that. revise what you need to do? You need to win like an to election. Don't you have any other way of winning like an election? You have no other way give of winning a, an election. Give me an opportunity to respond. Give me a look. I if if you if you feel that this is an election gimmick, that uh, then you know you're entitled to your opinion. But this particular law has been in the making for years now. Exactly. Years. And you okay. remember it now, in eight months me, before now, election. Now let me address anyway. the young person. Let me let me address the young person. Let me address the young person who is watching the show and saying, why are we doing something like this? Okay, why the food No, no, that's not the question. Because Mr. Piyush Goyal is No, no, that's not the question. Say, that's okay, not the question the young person what? is asking. One minute, one minute, one minute. Don't, don't get the young person wrong. I'll tell why you. Why are we in, no, no, why one are second. spending money the, on I'll this? tell you the question the young person is asking what, you, okay, Sarban okay, the, the, the young person is asking okay. you this question. Okay, and it'll be a long question, but please have the mm -hmm. patience to listen to it. The young person who faces an uncertain future, who pays taxes, who has worked hard to educate themselves, who represents the meritocracy of India, is asking you, you are giving me an economics lesson in parliament which should be the standard operating procedure of any government. You forgot, you admit you did everything wrong for nine years. Right? And just when, because of your no, mistakes, no, what, allow saying? me, allow me, when because of your mistakes the economy is in this situation, you need to win an election so you are spending more money. Why am I going to, why am I going to live with this? Answer that young person.
I will I will tell you that this is a very important investment in India's future. Okay, very important. The demographics of this country are such that you'll have an army of young people who are coming up who have to be, become productive citizens, uh, you know, in the future. If we do not take steps oh, now Salman. to invest in their future Salman for their infrastructure, says. for social infrastructure yeah. like health and education, yeah, yeah. or this kind of stuff, which is the basic part, basic part of right. Okay. You're okay. not going to have a visa. Okay, two debuts. Yes, in the middle of the crisis, one sec, one sec. Absolutely jobless growth. One sec. Mr. Goyal, there's been a major economic crisis in the world. If you have not yeah. been noticing, yeah, you major, well, major in crisis. In UPA 1 also, you created about? only 27 lakh jobs. In uh, NDA time, we had enough crisis. Despite that, we created your, six crore jobs. By your logic, in 2000 to 2005, six crore jobs. And in five years of UPA 1, before the crisis, you created I, I only 27 you, lakh jobs. I get Salma, Don't give us I get, I'm getting Sanjeev Sanyal a few minutes into the debate. Few minutes into the debate, By whatever logic, economic India crisis, a good job of whatever your platform. economic crisis, Mr. Soz, I don't want to spend 250% more on my vegetables, fruit and milk. And I'm sorry, I don't understand this economics, which forces me that to do so, a, okay? I don't, I don't. And I don't that think the people point. of Ceylon or Pakistan or Bangladesh or Nepal or Ukraine or Russia or, or uh, Uzbekistan are paying 250% more for vegetables, fruit and milk. So don't tell me my basic economics. You've got it all wrong, Mr. Soz. Uh, Sanjeev is I responding to you, Sanjeev. Sanjeev, Sanjeev is responding to you. Sanjeev is responding to you. From Singapore, so Sanjeev is responding and Lord Meghnath Desai will have the last word. It's less than 1%. Sanjeev, to the Congress spokesperson. Yes. Yes. So, one thing I would like to very clearly say that, frankly, the mo single most important thing that you need for helping poverty alleviation, food security and so on is inflation control. There are many, many studies which show that the best way to help the poor ultimately is maintaining control over inflation, much better than any SOP you can imagine. True, true. So, while many of these other things are good if you can afford it, uh, unless you get basic stability, including inflation, the, the rest of it is just debate because you'll know you'll take money but, in from one pocket and Sanjeev, give it to another pocket. I completely pocket at disagree. Best. If you're going to say that inflation will be controlled by c controlling demand, today is not the time to do it. You try and do it, you will get the economy in such a tailspin that you, there will be so much pain here that they, they'll be held to pay. So please, for God's sake, don't suggest measures which were tried out in the East Asian crisis and yeah, but I, I know, I know and that. Islands, uh, uh, you see, I can. To levels which, so, so if you know that, Sanjeev, you see, why no, are you no, suggesting that? No, no, but you see, the, the problem is Rajiv Kumar. The IMF has been, no, no, Rajiv the IMF Kumar. Has been sort of no, no, Rajiv Kumar. But, but, but you know, Rajiv you are, you are Kumar. talking about a crisis. No, no, Rajiv Kumar. The fact is, the sort of you know, the fact is the first impact. The first impact, these vegetable prices which have gone up 250%, I can assure you, Rajiv Kumar, when this food security bill is implemented, is then vegetable prices is. will go up even more. Because, of supply because farmers will stop growing vegetables. They will, only, they will only grow cereal to get the minimum support price. Supply shortages and not because... For all that reasons. Is not because of demand expansion. For whatever. That is because of supply shortages. For whatever for reason. 60 months in this country, we have had Look, food the inflation. Supply side, a higher the okay, okay. We don't want to we don't so get an economics debate. Meghnath Desai. Meghnath Desai, is there an economic emergency ahead? I think, I think, I think, let us say this government is not going to control inflation. If it has not controlled for four and a half years, it's not going to start now. But the practical thing is, can they announce a series of drastic cuts in wasteful government expenditure, sort of like what Vandana Shiva said. I, have, I can propose quite a few. If they can show that they can match the 1.25 lakh crores against 5 lakh crores in cuts in spending. Yeah, well said, well said. Four times well said. Proposed spend. Yeah. That well said. That, that, that would convince well said. the public. Well, that sir, absolutely. The public that they mean business. Well, we want. We and there's a lot of wasteful expenditure which won't get them a single vote, which is distorting the economy. I agree. Which if they had the will and I'm they know they what those expenditures are, so I, they can I, cut I, I agree with you. and show to the world that they mean I'm business. Not, I agree with you because you know the middle class, which I'm is feeling the pinch, wants the government to feel the pinch as well. Cut, they should cut wasteful revenue expenditure. Not what Mr. Chidambaram did last year.
he cut the capital expenditure of government by 77,000 crores. So really, he no, those are details. By those are matters of detail. Cut the capex those by 77,000 no, no. crores. Whether, whether they cut the capex or opex is detail. The first those thing we are saying is, please no, cut your wasteful expenditure. Capex I think what you leave behind for future no, no. generations. The fact, the please fact. cut wasteful revenue, non-plan expenditure. Not like planned what? capital expenditure. Yes, please. Yes, Give but, us some suggestions. But, well, building <laughs> rural roads, these are, these power are, plants, are, all of these, these are, are infrastructure you leave these behind for next generation. But we, we are doing that. Well, certainly we you do. That. Well, gentlemen, ladies, well, gentlemen, this has been a this has been a this is this has been a this has been a very interesting debate. But I want to political parties to for once for once look at the world from the perspective of the young Indian. Just think for once about the young Indian, the post-reforms Indian who is facing possible unemployment. And I think in our country we need to think about the rising rate of unemployment. We have, in all this talk about the food subsidy bill and everything, you see, we forget how difficult yes. it, it will become yes. for people when they start losing but jobs. But that's exactly what and, NDA did and, and what Mr. Modi is doing. He's encouraging manufacturing. Now we'll, now we'll get into the Modi debate later. Now, Piyush Goyal, I know you are on your favorite what we need to yes, do in India. Before, yeah, now, now we need a Modi model. That well, is what we, Mr. Piyush well, well, is well, going to say. Yeah, but we, we need, need a Modi model. model. We need a decisive, honest leader in this country. We need an India model, Mr. Goyal. We need an India model. India is a very complex country. Salman so Piyush Goyal. Sanjeev Sanya, Meghnath Desai, Rajiv Kumar. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me on the debate tonight. Bring back the jobs, revive the economy. Don't pinch us alone. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you.